Hey guys, it's Biggs. I've never done this before. It's never happened before. I still find it insanely weird, but I don't know if I can call it this. I mean, it is an insult to my good friend that sent it, but I'm gonna call it because it's the first time I've ever gotten mail from a fan, from a subscriber. <laughs> so I figured we have no idea what it is. Let's unbox it. All right, guys, Biggs has never, as I said, I've never received any stuff in the mail. I get mail all the time. I get all the bills. <laughs> My kids get mail, they get magazines, they get all sorts of fancy stuff. They get letters from friends and stuff. I get bills. So when my wife today wandered down to the mailbox and took my youngest Paisley with her in the wagon, the mile and a half to the mailbox, she comes back, she calls me a jerk. <laughs> she goes, could have given me warning, give you a warning for what? Of this giant box that was gonna be in the mailbox. <laughs> we have a little country mailbox and for something like this, there's only two other spots and you have to, you, they'll put a key in your mailbox and you have to use that key to open up the other box to get your stuff. So I have no idea what this is, but about a couple of weeks ago, I sent, uh, do you guys remember when I did the resurrection plants? We did the video on the resurrection plant. Uh, I had a friend of mine, a dear friend, Jessica Bullock in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It's a club that I was supposed to speak at this past April and I was really stoked about going and all sorts of stuff set up and it just didn't happen because of you guys know why. But uh, she'd been, she saw the video and she said, oh, that's really, really cool. So I just put in the back of my brain, I thought, well, once we're done with that, we'll send her those resurrection plants. <laughs> so that's what we did. I incorporated, I sent her a bunch of seeds of some different Nepenthes, I think. And I think I even sent her some of the Drosera the little um, uh, sundew plants and stuff, the stuff from Rachel O'Leary's garden. So that's some coveted stuff right there. And I said that, and then she asked me for my address as well. And I don't know what's in here, but it's a gigantic box, Jessica. Now, for those of you that don't know Jessica, she's a wonderful, very accomplished hobbyist. She specializes in mostly dwarf cichlids, epistogrammas and stuff like that. And uh, she's very, very good at what she does. But uh, like me, she's a little bit different. So in this box, there could be a fish stuffed animal. There could be a bunch of dead leaves. There could be a jar of locusts. <laughs> we have no idea what's going to be in here. So without further ado, let's go and see what we got. You'll notice there are no air holes anywhere within the package. There's also no stickers that denote this side up, which, you know, postal services and delivery services always adhere to. So what should we, what do you think is going to be in here, Paisley? I don't know. Do you think there's going to be seven pounds of raw hamburger? No. Do you think there's going to be a live chicken? Do you think there's going to be some leaves? Do you think there's going to be a bunch of snakes? Isopods. No? I don't think so. So we don't even know. I know when I was supposed to speak at a club, I saw Jessica uh, several months before in November, and she brought me a club shirt, which I've worn. You guys have seen in some videos before, too. But uh, this is an exceptionally large box, Jessica. I don't know what it is. Maybe she's sending me our, uh, her couch cushions that she doesn't no longer want that are no longer fashionable there. She's quirky like me. She can do weird stuff like that. And I would think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're not having fun, you're dying. All right. It doesn't smell like death and decay. <laughs> what on earth is this? <laughs> what? I have no idea what it is. It looks like something that you blow up. And they look like they're patterned like R2-D2, don't they? Mm -hmm. What do we got here, Jessica? <laughs> I see one here as a high-speed valve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a card. We got a card. 
Christopher Bigelos. <laughs> A thank you card for what? I didn't do anything. Thanks so much for the plant mail. I'm always looking to expand my green army. That's a dangerous thing to say to somebody like me. <laughs> Happy birthday and congrats on all your YouTube, farm, and family success. Much love, your friend, Jess. I gotta flip it over. <laughs> Covers are removable, should probably be hand washed and hung to dry. I hope Dana doesn't hate them too much. Thanks for being a friend. Absolutely love you, Jessica. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Never received anything quite like this before. I think they're pillows. Jessica's sending me her pillows. <laughs> I don't even know how to open it, Daisy. No. This is beyond my skill. Do you know how to open it? No. I don't know how to open it. This is one of these magic bags, I think, that you make things bigger. And I'm a little concerned that I'm going to go and open it and it's gonna go voom and take over the whole room. No. No, eh? Do you want to sleep on an R2D2 pillow? No. You know you're not cool enough to sleep on an R2D2 pillow? Who do you sleep on? What's on your pillow? Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol! Are they do you think they're pretty cool? Mm. You tell them. Do you think Paw Patrol is pretty cool? Who's your favorite in Paw Patrol? Sky. Sky's your favorite? All right, Jessica, you topped my plant mail. These are wicked cool. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely love them. And we got one of those magic space bags with a vacuum. <laughs> like I won't be able to get into trouble with this. <laughs> How many children can we fit in the bag? <laughs> I wonder if I can get in the bag and we can vacuum it closed. Might be worth a try. Might be a video. Don't even know. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Love you. These are super, super cool, Jessica. I really, I'm absolutely blown away. You know, not only these these super cool pillows and they're Star Wars, but these are all 100% handmade by you. And that to me is absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely blown away. Thank you. Thank you very much for the thoughtful three gifts. She's thinking pillow number one, pillow number two. That's not the only gifts I got from my friend Jessica. We also got a giant magic bag. We're going to have super fun with the giant magic bag. Now, I understand, Jessica. I understand your hobby now. This all makes sense. Jessica actually keeps monster fish. She's big into predatory. She doesn't keep apistos and dwarf cichlids and all that stuff that everyone thinks she keeps. She's all into gigantic predatory stuff. And she just shrinks down the hundreds and hundreds of aquariums and the thousands and thousands of gallons. She just shrinks them all down in magic bags at home. That's, that's, that's how she does it. We're on to you, Jessica. Regardless, super cool lady. Thank you. Safety first, kids. Don't play with bags.